Let's have some beer. What? Be going down, people of the world. Thank you so much for joining me for yet another beer review. My name is Redbeard, and for the beer of the today, we've got a bottle of Palm Psalm Blonde Ale by the Sindham, 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 I'm not sure how to pronounce the name of this brewery. Estate Farm Ales out of, I don't even know where, somewhere down in the southern Ontario region. The address was on the box. I don't think I still have the box from the beer they sent me. It was a shirt they sent me though. And uh, yeah, they're like a very, 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 very new brewery that I don't think is even like selling their beer to the general public yet. Because uh, I couldn't find a website. I couldn't find really anything on them. And they had contacted me via Instagram, I believe. Surprisingly enough, even though I'm really not... I need to be more active on Instagram. <laughs> but uh, yeah, they contacted me and asked if they could send me... I believe that they said some samples of like their uh, pilot batch kind of stuff that's going on. They sent three bottles. And this is the first one we're going to try. I'm, gonna, I'm hoping to do a collaborative review with uh, Chris from the channel Off the Tenth. I will link that somewhere in the description down below. That's, that's where it's going to be linked. Yeah. Check him out. <laughs> and uh, hopefully we're going to do the porter together in like a live YouTube Hangout kind of fashion. Google Hangouts kind of fashion. There's your bottle cap. Very, very innovative design going on there for sure and uh, let's see what we got it's not the best sign um <laughs> i don't really know what to say about that <laughs> except um i need a rag but i'll fix that in a second I'll... my hands are covered in beer now though one second Did I mention they're a brand new brewery and this is kind of like pilot batch stuff? So, note for next batch less carbonation, perhaps. I'm not really even sure what to say about that. But the rest of it poured nicely. So, let's get a thumbnail and then come back. So, it's been a while. But I, I, I coined the term head low a while ago. Like head that is like jello. And this is just continuing to grow. It's like it's like a, somebody set off a nuclear bomb in the bottom of this beer, and the mushroom cloud is expanding up into the sky. Like this is ground level, this is the sky, and bruh, like, I'll wait a minute, I guess, and we'll see what happens. No, see, yeah, it's already spilling over the top there, so we'll go, we'll do it like this. Yeah. Like, it's ridiculous. It is beyond ridiculous. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever seen a beer this insanely overcarbonated. I'm sorry. I'm sorry it turned out like this. <laughs> It's like a beer sundae or something. Like this top, that part actually looks like it'd be nice to eat with a spoon, but... I don't think it would be really. My first initial sampling of the beer right there, kind of citrusy. This is the most ridiculous thing I think I've ever seen with a beer. Actually, Marcel was over one evening, and he cracked open a beer. We didn't vlog it, but it was something, one of the Alexander Keith's special beers, like the one that uh, we had when he made the pork, the delicious pork. It was the Alexander Keith's bourbon barrel-aged stout or something like that. But this was another beer, and he cracked it open right here, and over half of the bottle came out of the top. 
I feel like this would have kind of almost done that if I hadn't like just poured it right away. This is mildly ridiculous. I think it's kind of stopping. It's like kind of starting to subside now, so I think I might grab a spoon, take about yay much off, and then a thumbnail, and then we'll finally drink it. So yeah, went, spooned this out, came back here, and went to sit down and post the thumbnail, and I realized, you know what, I did the thumbnail. <laughs> Yay me! That's actually pretty bad. That does not smell like a blonde ale. That smells like some kind of farmhousey saison type beer. And that would almost explain the overcarbonation. I want to say other times I've seen maybe not that level of overcarbonation, but definite overcarbonation has been in some of the Belgian type Chad the albino rhino I uh, I think because of me but if it isn't because of me I'm not trying to take credit for it but Chad the albino rhino as well as like I said Chris from Alpha 10th they were sent packages by this brewery as well I believe the same package as me and I think that they were sent there on my... I recommended. They asked me when they asked me if they could send me stuff. If there's anybody else I thought of. And I'm pretty sure I said Chad and Chris. And I might have said Nick. He's out in Nova Scotia though. So they might not have sent out there to him. Regardless though. Chad drank the Blonde Ale. And said that his... He thought that maybe the labels were screwed up between the Blonde Ale and the Belgian IPA, which is another style. Blonde Ale, Belgian IPA, and I believe a Porter, which again, Chris on the 10th and I hopefully going to do collaboratively. He said he thinks the labels might have been switched up and that the Blonde Ale is actually the Belgian IPA, which, judging by the smell, would not be out of the realm of possibility. So um, it's got a yeasty Yeasty, maybe some a little bit of like clove in there or something. The kind of a little bit of like that saison farmhouse style smell that you really would not expect out of a blonde ale. So let's give her a shot. It doesn't taste like a blonde ale, and it doesn't taste like an IPA. It's not bad. I don't know what to say about this. I'm wondering, overall, like it's farm ales. So are all of the beers that this company makes kind of along the lines of that yeasty... Belgian kind of farmhouse style. I'm noticing right here at the bottom. I didn't even see that. The description. Toasted coconut on a sexy blonde bombshell. I'm not really... I didn't get any kind of coconut out of that. Let's give her a... Let's, try, let's do this, I guess. Cheers, everybody. And, like, cheers to you guys over at brewery name unpronounceable by me. But, uh, yeah... I don't know about this one. Okay, that, that, that second sip was actually a lot tastier. That's actually kind of tasty now. But again, there's no... I'm getting no blonde beer anything out of this. Or coconut. I don't know what to say. It's really unusual. Like, is, is, this, is, it, is it a Belgian blonde ale? Or a farmhouse blonde? And that's just the style and I haven't had it before? Like, in the future, in a note to yourselves, I guess, make sure you emphasize that on the label, that if, if this is the correct beer, 
Okay, yeah, you know what? Right now, I'm not even going to cut the camera. I'm going to go over here, and we're going to grab the Belgian IPA. And I'm going to go like this. I'm curious. Belgian IPA, you'd really expect to have some kind of sediment. I'm not really seeing anything in terms of, it looks a bit cloudy, but I am wondering though too, I didn't really, I didn't give this a swish because of the Blondale, I didn't feel like I should have, but I want to get this in your face, that is really kind of gloopy in the bottom of that, so let's go ahead and do that. See, it's already pretty cloudy. I'm not sure this is really going to do anything to it, but oh my god. Yes, it did. It's like putting cream into your coffee. There's no way. There's no way this is the Blondale. Even the top of that, you can't see it, but there's like a whole different color to that, to the head where I poured that in. That's freaky. Okay. <laughs> Maybe they're switched. I don't know. This has citrus notes with a Belgian nuance. You know what? Just just because, like, I'm going to finish this one, and right after this one, I'm going to do the vlog for this one because I really need to know. And then again, Porter dual review, hopefully with Chris from on the tenth. Didn't change the aroma. Looks, it looks, it almost looks nicer now. Now that it's all blended in, it's like got a bit more of a juicy look to it. I guess if this is a Belgian IPA, again, it's not bad. What does it say? <clears throat> Citrus notes with a Belgian nuance, and the name of this is Root of Seven. Six point seven percent. The blonde is more powerful at 6.9, which is even more unusual. Like the blueberry blonde ale from Lake of the Woods, Forgotten Lake blueberry ale, the 7%. That's like the strongest blonde ale I think I've seen up until. Still the strongest, but that's close. Come on. It's not bad. It just, there's really not much of a... It's not very bitter at all for an IPA. It's very unusual. I haven't had a lot of Belgian IPAs, so maybe that's just kind of more along the style. I don't know. I know that I've now been going for about 16 minutes. Holy shit. A couple things had to be cut out, but I don't believe that much. This vlog is going long. Sorry, break time. Not bad, but this ain't no Blondale. Like, unless there's some crazy Belgian farmhouse style of Blondale that I didn't know existed. This has got to be like what Chad was saying. They mis messed up on the labels a little bit. So, tomorrow or the next day or even the next day, I don't know. It depends on what is happening during my days and stuff now as far as frequency of beer reviews. Hence why I don't call it a daily drink vlog anymore. Um, but yeah, it's not bad. Uh, Rating-wise... Funny enough, there is a... Sorry, that, that wasn't right at all. Come on. There we go. Chad, when he had this, gave it a... Looks like it's 3.75-ish out of 5, which is surprisingly high considering it doesn't seem right at all. Trick number last. Um... Sin to him, sign to him, this brewery. Apparently, um, your Belgian IPA, if it's a blonde ale, that's like a four out of ten. And I would smash the bottle. But I feel like it's the it's the Belgian IPA and the 
full-on is going to be had next. We'll see. If it turns out I'm wrong, we're, we're smashing that bottle real good luck. And that's going to do it for this particular beer review. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, smash the thumbs up button in its face. If you want to see more, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification so you're made aware when new videos are released. I want to go live playing the video games. And I'll be back again. A little preview. It's definitely going to be the Blonde Ale or the Belgian IPA. Next. Peace out. I didn't really finish my sentence there. I was like, I'll be back with that thing in the next day or so kind of thing. I don't know. Peace out again.